Hi, Davi here, and today we have a new episode in the Art Podcast series <laughs> on YouTube. And, uh, you know, I want to try something different for this because I don't really know what to do for the podcast on YouTube. Uh, obviously, if it's going to be on YouTube, there needs to be a video, uh, some kind of video thing happening in the background, but I don't have a lot of... Uh, videos time lapse videos because i'm not doing much art <laughs> which is kind of an which is obviously an issue because i have my own like not doubts but and i think i'm going to make this the, the topic for this video is how should you know or what like how will you know what to draw like what what should you draw or paint you know and i think if you're the type of artist who's super or who's easily inspired distracted by maybe distracted has a negative vibe to it so we'll avoid that word <laughs> but if you're the type of artist who's easily inspired it's kind of hard to decide like what what is What's my thing? Like, what am I supposed to do, to do, you know? Should I do fan art? I mean, I like fan art. Should I do um, concept art? You know, which kind or what kind of concept art? Creatures, mechs? Do you follow? Like, there's so much stuff that you could do. Like, environments, prop design. And it's kind of related to finding your niche or your style. It's essentially knowing what to focus on as... An artist right um and i guess you know i was kind of quickly reflecting on it and i think i'm asking the wrong questions Ooh. i think it's not so much what i mean it's good to ask the question like what should i uh draw illustrate focus on and to think about you know all sorts of considerations like you know, long term, like, is it something that I actually want to do? Do I enjoy it? Is it profitable? Does it actually, uh, you know, get me to where I want to go eventually? Is it sustainable? I mean, these things matter, but I think the bigger question here is not so much what should I be focusing on, but whether or not I'm actually making art. Like, am I drawing? Am I painting? And I think that's, for me, that might be the bigger issue. And I do think it is. You know? Even if I'm not... Even if I don't know where I am or where I'm going, I need to be aware of what I'm doing. Ooh. <laughs> Get, damn, I'm getting, like, super philo philosophical in this, uh episode but i think i'm just overthinking too much and i'm just not allowing my mind to just sort of or my subconscious mind anyway to uh take over i mean we have like shoulds and shouldn'ts and stuff like that but i don't know i think it's just i'm not doing anything i, I don't you're not doing anything by constantly thinking this way um and it's not bad to consider like what gets views and stuff like that. Because obviously if we're trying to build, for example, for me in this case, it's my channel, my YouTube channel. You know, I've been watching, I you know I do follow lots of like artists on YouTube. And you know, I do study like why do they get way more subs, way more engagement than I do. And obviously I'm doing this because I I, I want to make YouTube profitable. By the way, I just got monetized on YouTube. I mean, all of it, you know, the, at first it was the memberships and, you know, the, the super chats, something or super things. And then eventually I was able to reach my watch time requirements. And now I'm, you know, in terms of my ad revenue, I mean, I have like a, a few, to be honest, like 40 bucks <laughs> estimated revenue. It's going to be my first one. Uh, on YouTube, by the way, the the threshold uh, default is like a hundred dollars, so I'll have to reach that 
so I can actually get the payout. But it's something, you know, I, I want to make this like a part of my income streams. So I, I am thinking like, oh shit, like what videos, art videos should I make, you know, to get more views on my art or on my channel. And, um, but at the same time, balance out what I actually like doing because I've seen artists who, you know, they have so many subs, but, and, you know, like likes and stuff. And I'm sure they've made their money, but they eventually just drop off. And I think it's because they're not really into the thing that got them famous. So I'm very careful of that. I don't want to be that person. I want to be sustainable, even if I'm not making like tons of money. Uh, if I'm doing something that I actually enjoy doing long term, then I'm I'm going to be, I'm going to feel good. You know, you have to consider your personal well being as well. And um, yeah, so it's just hard, and I think you can make it simple by just drawing. And I think that's kind of what I'm doing with this video. Uh, since I'm, I don't really know what to do. I mean, if you check out my art reviews, I've explored so many kinds of artists. You know, like anime, concept art, um, and stuff like that. But that's great. And I love that side of me. Um, and it's just nice to look at other people's artwork. It's very enjoyable for me, but... At the same time, my own artistic needs are being neglected. Like, I'm not even doing anything, you know? Because sometimes I hear, or I see comments like, Oh shit, like, dude, where is your, like, art station? Instagram, like, we want to see your work. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> I have nothing. <laughs> and it's a fucking problem. Like, am I really an artist if I don't have art to show? Ooh! Pain! <laughs> right? And it's not just that, it's not, it's it also learning or uh, figuring out what, like, what should I practice. And it's all related to uh, what I should. It's basically like, it's all about what am I, like, what do I want from art? Like, what am I doing here? You know? I mean, obviously, first step, are you an artist? Like, do you want to do art? If that's, uh, if it's there, then I think that's good. I mean, I know I don't want to be doing anything else. That's why I'm kind of invested in this thing. So there's that. So step one is, do you want to do art in general? And for me, the answer is going to be yes. Because it's cool. It's amazing. It's amazeballs. And uh, yeah. What are we doing here? Uh, I'm not sure what this thing is, but I'm just... Again, I'm not going to focus on what's right, what's wrong. I'm just going to start sketching shit. Let me change the angle of the... Uh, of the, uh, the brush. So yeah, it's just hard knowing what to focus on. And um, I think it's part of the whole analysis paralysis thing where you're trying to think so much of like you're analyzing things too much to the point where you're not even doing anything. And I think that's a very common issue uh, when it comes to us artists. Maybe you're a bit better. Who knows? Hopefully you are doing well. But maybe sometimes you do feel this way where you're just like, what in the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> you know, like, where where am I going with this? Like, what am I? What do I need to focus on? What do I want to do? You know, these sorts of questions. Um... And I think about them. And uh, again, going back to my original, um, I guess, takeaway is, am I actually doing the thing? I mean, yeah, even if I don't know what to do, I should at least do something. And maybe in that process, I'll figure out what I want to do. And it's kind of the whole... You'll know it by doing it. It's kind of a, a weird advice, but it, it does work. Like you'll only really know what to do once you've made, once, once you've been in the arena, you know? 
And I think you need to be in that zone, in that space where you make a lot of mistakes. And that's kind of where you'll find... You know, where you'll realize certain things. And I think I, I, that, that's the first major step. Or the second major... The first major step is, do you want to be an artist? And I think for me, it's going to be a big yes. The second step would have to be... Shit, I forgot. <laughs> I just mentioned it. Um, shit, I forgot. Uh, oh God, brain fart. Hopefully, if you're listening, you've uh, taken note of it, but... Christ. It's, this, is, this is the issue when you're trying to draw something, but paint something at the same time. Oh, I, I like this. Anyway, um, so yeah. Because I'm also, I mean, nowadays you have to think of profits too. And I know this is not a good subject to uh, talk about because the business world and the art world, oftentimes they do clash. And obviously we have that stereotype. Oh, you know, artists are basically like starving artists and all and... It's a bad stereotype, but I think that shit needs needs to go away. Like we can't be poor now that we have like the internet, you know, like these things are so outdated now. But still, I think we do it to ourselves as artists, as creatives, where we're kind of iffy with money. You know, we don't like talking about it. We I mean, thankfully nowadays it's changing. I do see a lot of YouTube videos of you know, artists being super open uh, about the money they make on YouTube, on their Patreon, uh, on their Gumroad and stuff like that. And it's, I think it, it is changing. And art is being seen as something that's actually profitable. Uh, but it's not all the way there. You know, it's not like being a doctor, being a lawyer, being an engineer, where it's pretty much established already. Uh, I think that it's fairly new. The whole art thing and doing it for a living it is i think it's still what's established is like you need to have like you basically need to be like a da vinci or something like that's an established kind of artist where you're so high quality and you're basically being paid by a noble family of sorts you know like you need to be in the in the upper echelons of society I mean, yeah, that's established for centuries, but the whole independent thing, doing your own thing and making good money, and um, that, that that's still kind of new. And I want to contribute to developing that. And it's not just about, you know, being, I'm not this virtuous person. <laughs> I also just want to make art and make money, you know, from it. But finding that balance... For example, I also, I've been talking about this for a while too, but, you know, I do like pervy stuff. Not safe for work art definitely is something that I just can't get my eyes off of. But am I doing anything? Like, goddamn, bruh. All of this talk is just nauseous at this point. Oof. Criticism. Pain. <laughs> anyway. By the way, if you're having trouble drawing, I've mentioned this also plenty of times. Do this. Some call it automatic drawing. Some call it doodling. Some call it just wasting time. But I think it's a great way to just, you know, practice your forms and just not think so much about stuff. And it's a great way to practice your edge control. For me, anyway, that's usually how it turns out. I just practice my edge control, uh, the shape. Uh, playing with the shapes and stuff. To, it's kind of where it usually goes. Uh, let's add another red thing here. I think it, this thing has some potential. Anyway. So yeah. I think the... What, what's the question? The main question for this podcast episode is... Like, what should you focus on? Like, what should you draw? What should you paint? Like, what, what are we doing here? And I think, again, 
just to remind you and myself um maybe it's not always about what you should or it's not about the subject but it's about doing the thing and the main thing is making art right so even if you're lost like oh shit even if you're like struggling even if you still have the same questions at least when you look back you you look at your videos you look at your portfolio your uh, your feed on your social media platform right you can still see a body of work even if it's kind of everywhere kind of messy like you've established an undeniable fact that you are an artist and yeah people will people might say oh shit like this guy is kind of fucking weird he's kind of all over the place he's not very consistent i mean yeah but is it really that bad i mean it's true anyway i mean it's definitely something you're struggling with but at least you kind of know uh where your strengths are uh what your inclinations are and that really only comes by doing a body of work by doing a volume of work and i think that's the thing for me so you, you essentially have to find an opportunity for you to be able to uh do this and for me i recommend youtube because it's um obviously i'm on youtube so it's kind of what i know but tiktok is kind of a thing as well so you can try that or you can try old school like instagram twitter or x um x or kara you know kara is a new app but by the way i have i have gotten quite a few dislikes <laughs> noticeable dislikes from that video and maybe it was was i being too harsh um oh by the way i figured out how to change my profile picture because i had to go to my phone to change it it wasn't working on my laptop i mean I, i've tried different browsers logging into different browsers but it still wasn't like it had like a glitch or something but i eventually used my phone to do it um and yeah so i downloaded the uh, the kara app on my phone by the way i don't use my phone that much you know how you look at your uh, phone and you don't really um anyway <laughs> too much information so what are these things but i think these things are so fun to do just doodling sk sketching around and maybe i'll find something here and uh and even if i don't at least i had fun <laughs> and at least i did something you know i can always say when people look at my work i, I can always say oh it's it's a reflection i can just make shit up you know and make it so like philosophical right and make it look like like i know what i'm doing oh shit genius because in art it's quite subjective anyway so um right look at this boy Ugh. oh excuse him wow um oh by the way i also i'm also thinking of um or instead of because i was th again i was thinking of wondering like oh shit like what should i do what kind of art should i focus on but at the same time i was also thinking aside from the whole money thing thinking of profits as well like what gets views or thinking of engagement you know what gets subs what gets likes what gets views what gets people to comment and stuff like that i was also thinking of like tablets <laughs> because a lot of the big or established art youtubers a lot of these, these tablet graphic tablet companies or brands they do send them uh like tablets to review right so i was thinking you know maybe the re you know I, I want to reach that level eventually where you know maybe wacom xp pen huayon and all of these other brands they'll start sending me like tablets to review i think you do need a bigger following but at the same time i think they need to know that you are an artist right so i was thinking you know what maybe even if i don't know what to do or what to draw and maybe if i don't really have a style yet if 
I have enough work out there that establishes me as a legitimate artist that does art. Maybe eventually, <laughs> these brands will come, you know, give me a little sum sum. You know what I'm saying? Right? And the reason why I want the tablet is because I think it's my pen. Like, the most reliable tablet I have now is, um, well, the Wacom. But the Wacom I have is an Intuos Pro. It's an, an old one, but it's still functional. So it's not a screen tablet. Uh, I do have two screen tablets, both from XP Pen. But I think the 13.3 Pro, the first one I bought, the first screen one I bought, it's too tiny for my... Um, even the Intuos Pro, I have the Intuos Pro S. It's pretty small now. And I think I, I was spoiled by the 22-inch screen that I'm using now. It's a XP Pen 22E Pro. The problem is, it doesn't have pen tilt. And also, uh, I with the with the tablet, I got like two uh, pens with it, right? The other one is just faulty as hell. And even with this one, the pen that I'm using right now to uh, draw this thing, th there are two buttons in it. The first one, like I I thought that it was like an XP pen driver issue, but it turns out the the first button of my pen is just not functioning well so the cursor just jumps around like it's not the driver i've tried reinstalling and installing um and i think the pen is just like weak so i was hoping that oh shit maybe if i just do more art videos where people can see me do art eventually over time <laughs> someone can give me a freaking tablet and I'll be like one of those people who does the review. Oh, you know, like XP Pen wanted my opinion on this issue. And uh, that, that, that would be so nice. And in that way, I don't have to pay for the tablet. I know it's so cheap of, of me, but and in a way, I'm perpetuating the stereotype that the artists are poor. So, but whatever, you know, I am poor. Like, damn. <sighs> you know how you don't like stereotypes but then you realize you're perpetuating it yourself <laughs> Hi. anyway what is this monstrosita damn oh, by the way I also downloaded DaVinci um, Resolve so apparently it, it can do so much like it can, it, it can even edit audio so I, do, so I need to figure out how to learn that whole program although i have been trying to limit it the past few videos i've made it's very direct i hardly edit them it's all just one go and you know i have like certain programs like to save time you know like mixing the audio and fixing fixing the audio but i don't really do cuts uh, in the recent videos i've made anyway let me just have a, a sip of coffee here. <sighs> you know what? I think I'm doing so much with this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, so basically for the pen that I have now, the second button is the only one that works. And I use that for my color picker. Which sucks because it's a one less button, but that's the one I have now. I used to be so adverse to using a big screen and not just a big screen, but drawing on screen. I guess I was just so used to drawing with a tablet, a graphic tablet. That I was like, oh shit, I, I don't need one of those things. Cope. <laughs> Once I had it, I was like, oh shit. My standards changed. But I definitely want pen tilt so I can be more... Um, I mean, I can still... I, I do. I did make shortcuts to adjust the, the angle. Let, let me just show you. I'm going to increase my brush size and then I'm going to do this. Do you see it? Do you see how it rotates? 
uh, I made a shortcut for those two things. You can't do that in Photoshop, apparently. I think you can use the arrow buttons, but it's so slow. Like, the rotation is like... It's not even worth it. So anyway, I do want that, and I think... I'll just make that the aim instead of figuring out, oh, what 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 should what should be my style? Like, what art should I make? I should just do a bunch of videos, a lot of videos on YouTube of me just drawing a random shit and making it kind of good, kind of, even if it's kind of too conceptual, I'll still do it. So that one day, one of these brands will come hit me up and go, you know what? This guy is so freaking cool. He's built an audience for himself and his uh, unestablished figure in the art community on YouTube. So we're gonna give him like the latest tablet. <laughs> so that's my plan. That's my plan. I think a lot of artists on YouTube or on TikTok, whatever, wherever, I think we do think this way. Right? To be so popular that eventually these brands would have to like rec recognize your superiority, right? Anyway, so yeah, maybe that, that should be something you should think about. Maybe if you're not really uh, aware of what you should do, what to draw, change your goals instead of fig figuring out your style. Like what are other needs of yours as an artist? that needs to be met so for me it's gonna have to be the tablets uh and it's also like a it's a way to legitimize yourself in the the community the art community like if brands if if these brands send you tablets like it means you're kind of trusted in a way so that's a, a form of social proof which only positively affects you you know, in terms of your brand, like you're a trusted brand, like people trust you, like these brands even send shit to you, right? Or sorry, they're tablets. So, you know, maybe that should be your focus instead. Or for now, anyway, you don't have to think about, you don't have to know what to do always. And if you're struggling with knowing what to do, shift your attention to something else that needs to be, uh, handled in this case i just don't have enough art videos of me doing art i have way more art views than me doing art on youtube and i think that's an issue so maybe that should be my focus instead and then once i have enough work once i have enough of these art videos out there then maybe i can start reflecting again oh shit like wh where should i go with my art like what should i do should i practice my anatomy Stuff like that, you know? So maybe you can try that for yourself as well. By the way, there's something behind my nose. Like, I can feel that it's going to... Like, if I sneeze it out, it's going to be like a... A powerful snot. <laughs> you know, like a, a handful, basically. Oof. You're so disgusting. Oh shit, it's been 28 minutes. I'm not even sure how long should it do how long I should do these uh videos, but I think 30 minutes maximum. Cause I've noticed that for my longer videos, we, people do watch it, but maybe it's a bit too long. Um the watch time is good, but the views are not as high. So I do know some people do watch them. I do read your comments. And by the way, I'm sorry if I don't respond because uh, to me it's such an effort <laughs> if it's really like super if it's like a very question if it's a question that i think i can answer i might do i have done this where i make them turn them into video topics and i'll even feature your comment so th that can happen but and sometimes i'll be honest i'm just scared to reply because if i if i reply to one person and i don't reply to not to another one i feel like i'm being a dick and you know i have a lot, a lot of like social it's not so much maybe anxiety, but I think it's more like just retardation because I, I have been so... I'm basically a hikomori, you know? In, in, in Japan, it's a, a word that means like a, a recluse or secluded kind of person. I'm, th I'm that, so... <laughs> 
you know, I've been, I know you're supposed to like balance your life, but it's just not for me. <laughs> this is it, guys. This is my life. I'm going to be one of these weird artists on YouTube. Um, and I'm going to be here, right? So anyway, hopefully you learned something from this episode. Uh, even I'm not sure what it is, but hopefully we can start a conversation. A conversation. Even if you reply in the comments, I probably won't respond. So there's no point. So I get it if you're not willing to write shit. But, you know, like the video, th do the usual stuff, subscribe if you haven't. I mean, people watch the videos, but they don't even subscribe. I mean, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> And guys, you know, work with me if you're struggling with your art as well. Obviously, you're you have maybe you have other goals that may be a bit more specific to you, but maybe you have a similar goal to mine as well, like a secondary goal. And that for me is just doing more art and making sure that people know that I actually do it to hopefully one day get one of those uh, amazing uh, tablets by the you know. The standard brands like Wacom, XP Pen, Hawaiian. Um, I'm sure there are others out there, but Artisul? Artisul? Is that a brand? Uh, Senset Tabs? Am I saying it right? Whatever. But yeah, one day, one day we'll get those emails, you know? And uh, so yeah, just change your goals. Maybe just skip the whole, uh, like, oh shit, like, what should I do? Skip that whole process if it's getting too, like, if you're not even doing anything, then I think you've reached the point of paralysis. So just shift your attention to a different goal. It's still art-related, but a different goal. For me, it's getting uh, more art videos out. And I won't even think about if it's consistent. I just need to do the art videos and for me, I, I found a way to do it. It's doing this sort of conversational, one-on-one -on -one kind of vibe, like podcast on YouTube. So you can see me draw something, sketch something in the background while I talk about, you know, a specific question, a specific idea. So there, I, I've solved a few problems. I, 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 I can make YouTube content. I establish myself as an artist. And maybe along the way, I'll figure out what exactly I want to do, you know? Uh, I, I, I can develop my style even more, like the way I paint, the way I draw. And um, yeah. And again, I'm also building the channel in that way. And again, if I haven't, you know, emphasized it already, one day I'm going to get one of these tablets and you're going to see me and you're going to look back at this video and realize, oh shit, Dave Davi was freaking right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you're going to be, sorry to say, a bit jealous of me <laughs> because I made it. You know, I made it. I got me a tablet without paying for it. <laughs> Cheap, poor, it's a poor. Anyway. So if you're, uh, anyway, if you're um, struggling with life, figuring things out, um, change the question. What are other related problems that you could solve? Um, because chances are, if you solve that problem, eventually it's going to meet back your original problem. And you might actually uh, solve it that way. So I think I've gone past 30 minutes and I think we'll leave it there. Look at this weird shit. But I like it. You know, it's a way for me to like... Um, yeah. So I'll see you in the next video. Um, and yeah, have a good day.